Dylan went silent on Dylan's TikTok and social media for some three weeks and has now resurfaced. I mean, the, the chutzpah is the word, the chutzpah of this person who tried to become famous as a man and failed, but tried in multiple different ways, then decided to cross over into our lane, declare himself a girl, walk us through his 365 days of girlhood, actually did public appearances talking about what it's like to be a girl and have a period, made a platform of bringing back the bulge in a girl's bikini. Girls don't have bulges in their bikini anywhere below the navel, sir. <laughs> they have bulges <laughs> above above the midline. Um, this is this person now is lamenting that people only want to talk about the trans thing with Dylan and really just wants to be famous for being Dylan and like not have to talk about gender all the time. Here's a little bit of Dylan resurfacing on that. It's day 9,610 of being a human. I've been offline for a few weeks and a lot has been said about me. Some of which is so far from my truth that I was like hearing my name and I didn't even know who they were talking about sometimes. What I'm struggling with most is that I grew up in a conservative family and I'm extremely privileged because they still love me very much. And I grew up in the church and I still have my faith, which I am really trying to hold on to right now. But I've always tried to love everyone, you know, even the people that make it really, really hard. And going forward, I want to share parts of myself on here that have nothing to do with my identity. And I don't know if reincarnation is a thing, but in my next life, I would love to be someone non-confrontational and uncontroversial. God, that sounds nice. There's just no accountability. It's, it's as if Dylan just surfaced and said, I, I want to be a woman. Please respect my privacy. And the internet piled on Dylan. That's not, that's not how this went down. That's not how Dylan got in the public eye. This is a provocateur who intentionally offends and provokes and then sits back and says, my message is all about love. Um, I first came across Dylan a couple months ago, actually. I might have been one of the first people to post about him. Um, obviously, he was not as big yet then. Um, but I think there's been a lot of, of footage that was unearthed um, about Dylan. And, I, and there was some footage from years ago when he was just a gay man. And I think that society failed him because I think that he probably is just a gay man. Um, but what they're doing um, to, to kids is basically, and, and to young people, is they're basically erasing gay people because you, it's not, you can't just be gay anymore, right? You have to be transgender. Um, and I think that I, I, I really just think it's really, really sad. Um, and I think that there are probably a lot of outside forces that did this to him. Um, at, at the same time, he is an adult now. And what he's doing now is just absolutely disgusting. Uh, there was also a video last week where he called for the arrest of people who misgender him. I mean, he is, he, what he's doing is he's mocking women. Um, as a woman, it's pretty offensive. It's absolutely disgusting. And um, it's, I'm actually really just sick of him. I'm so sick of him. Uh, so I try not to are. give him any attention anymore because I think it's just feeding him at this point. So yeah. I, I mean, I called out the Bud Light thing. Um, Bud Light wasn't even the worst of it though. He was sponsored by Tampax. So he's getting sponsored. And now Maybelline, male, right? Is it, is it Maybelline? Maybelline? Maybelline too. And Ulta. And Ulta. Um, Ulta, the Ulta Beauty thing is too much. What what happened on Ulta, Ulta Beauty, I will never go into again. I am not, there's, Sephora's better than you anyway, so it's yeah. not a big sacrifice. <laughs> but it's absolutely disgusting when they had these two men talking about, well, did, weren't they talking about their periods? I mean, it was just absolute absurdity. It's you didn't, so you don't insane. have a period, you have a penis. The two things ne'er shall meet. Sorry. <laughs> that, But that's but, Ulta Beauty. And then they didn't back down when their customers said, what are you doing? Why are you having two dudes, one of whom had a beard with his long blonde hair and his long fingernails, lecturing women on beauty products and periods? What's happening? <laughs> it's like, it feels like parody, but it's not. This is, the, this is the way that our country is going right now. Yeah, they were talking all about their girlhoods. That's what it was. Um, Anne hires a bush, pouches. meanwhile. They, he, he calls his. They're what? Um, he calls. He calls his. He calls his. Um, 
what whatever's in his underwear, I don't know, his Barbie pouch. It's just like he just keeps mocking <laughs> women. It's it's just so what gross. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, I like I was thinking about it, you know, now because they're like, I mean, a, a woman, as as Kelly J. Keene would say, a woman is an adult human female. And these women who decide they're going to transition to men, which is not a thing, um, who go so far as to actually try to get a phallus built by one of these Frankenstein doctors who's willing to do this to a woman uh, and cut up her vagina and try and cut up her arm and try to make a fake penis. Then they say, well, then she has a penis. So if, if this person has a penis, it's a man, right? If that's how you do, do you, if you define a man as a, somebody with a penis and a woman with somebody with a vagina, then, then a woman can become a man. No, we have to be clear when we're talking about these things. You, uh, a, a fake vagina is not a vagina. A fake penis is not a penis. They are extremely different things. Let's just take a little wander past the fake hole that a surgeon creates for a woman, a, a, one of these fake women. You know what happens? Nothing. You will not bump into a, a real vulva. You will not bump into ovaries. You will not bump into fallopian tubes. You will not bump into a uterus. They don't exist. And they can't be transplanted in. And they can't give birth. They can't carry children. They can't do any of those things. Same thing over in the man department. All right? So like none of the things, you will not have testicular cancer if you have a fake penis built for you or have any of the concerns that men have to deal with when it comes to their sexual health as well. So I do think we need to start getting more precise in our language. This is why I've been having yeah. the debate openly on the show about the pronouns and so on. Dylan at best, we'll get a fake vagina if Dylan decides to go that route. But Dylan, in the meantime, has to deal with the consequences of Dylan's own behavior. And one of those yeah. things is, is the partnership with certain brands. The, the Bud Light one has had massive backlash. Bud Light is in a downward spiral like the Fox News APM. They're in the same predicament mm -hmm. right now. And um, now the Human Rights Campaign, which is this far left organization, is calling on Anheuser-Busch to publicly reaffirm its support for the transgender community. In the wake of, they, remember, they never apologized for this ad campaign. They just said, oh, we never meant to sort of be divisive. That's it. And then they placed on leave of absence the woman who ran the campaign and her boss. They're still employed, as far as we know. So they sent a letter to the head of the company's human resources saying it's absolutely critical for Anheuser-Busch to stand in solidarity with Dylan and the trans community went on to say, when faced with anti-LGBTQ plus and transphobic criticism, Anheuser-Busch's actions demonstrate a profound lack of fortitude in upholding its values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And now they warn Anheuser-Busch, we are preparing to lower your longstanding 100% corporate equality index score. This national benchmarking tool so reported the New York Post not long ago on corporate policies, practices, and benefits relevant to the LGBTQ employees. This is the real threat. We're going to make you uninvestable by other companies. We're going to give you, give you a low CEI score, and we're going to punish you for just saying we didn't mean to be divisive and placing the lady on leave. If they cow to this group, it's over. It's over. They can kiss their relationship with all the brands. Goodbye. It's so, it's mind boggling that these brands keep falling into the same trap because every time they get so involved in, in politics like this, they, it, it always ends up not working out for them. Um, you know, I miss the days when we could just drink a beer or go to the makeup store without having to think if these, if these companies are promoting this pseudoscience that's destroying kids. Um, it's like, just why can't they just make their beer and sell it and we'll drink the beer and everyone's happy? Um, but no, because they have to show this far, the far left that they are in line with their agenda because they're scared of what the consequences will be. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available Right now, they've already been allotted and set aside to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. It's not a loan, and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans 
even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Now let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org. That's covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.